Hey guys, my name is Mustafa, I'm a 3D and visual effects artist and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to shoot for visual effects or for mixed reality content. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be taking you through some tips and tricks that you require to know prior shooting for visual effects. So there are a few things that you need to pay attention to before shooting, which are the resolution, the shutter speed, the frame rate, the sensor size, the camera model, and also the focal length. So these are very important to get an accurate camera solved during the tracking. All right, let's begin the shooting process, where the first thing you need to shoot in 4K or the highest resolution possible in your camera or your smartphone. Well, that's the main thing because later on during the tracking, if you don't shoot on a high resolution, your tracking is not going to be perfect. Well, the second thing you need to know is shooting in a high shutter speed. A high shutter speed will make your footage very sharp and also it will help later on during the tracking process. Also, you need to shoot on a high frame rate, which is 60 frames per second. I personally like to shoot in 60 frames per second because shooting in a high frame rate will actually get you more data uh, to track your footage. Also, don't forget to get multiple takes for your video so you have options later on during production process. All right, so after capturing our footage, now we need to capture the HDRI or the high dynamic range image. You can capture that using your mobile phone or the Insta360. All right, we'll talk first about how to capture that using Insta360. I will show you step by step how to take this. So first of all, you need to set up your camera to take photos, but at exposure bracketing. So you will need to take at least from five to seven different exposures. So first you set up your camera, you go to the options, photos, and then you go to the exposure bracketing. All right, and then you can set up your camera to take seven different exposures. Later on, we'll take all these exposures and then we'll measure it using the Insta360 Studio. All right, so if you don't have an Insta360 camera, I'll be teaching you how to do that using your mobile phone. First of all, you need to download an app called an HDRI. And with that app, you can literally just go around and capture the same spherical image that you took using your Insta360 camera. The app will export for you a 32-bit HDRI or EXR file that you can also use later on your 3D track on your 3D software. All right, so first of all, you open your Insta360 Studio, and then you need to import all the images that you've taken today using your Insta360 camera into the software. So we have to select all the DNG files that you've captured using your Insta360 into the Insta360 Studio. Here you go, we have all the images down here. We have to select, we will need to select all the different exposure brackets. We will have to select all the frames that we've shot today and then hit the exports. Then we have to choose the uh, export 360 photo. Usually it's, uh, it's set on export reframed photo, but we need to choose the export 360 photo and uh, we need to unselect or uncheck the automatic horizon leveling. And then we need to choose the directory where we need to save the files. For example, here I'm gonna, um, I'll be creating a new folder and here will be the uh, HDRI creation navigate through it select folder and then and then press the uh, export now it's showing on the screen that it's exporting one by one now it's going to take a few minutes to export the images into the folder and then after that after it's finishing the export we'll take all these photos into photoshop to merge it together and to create the high dynamic range image all right so now let's open photoshop and then in photoshop you have to go to the file menu and then automate and then choose merge to HDR Pro. Now you have to browse and select all the images that Okay, so now we're done with creating the HDRI image that we captured using the Insta360 camera and now we can use it in the 3D software later on during the animation process. All right, guys, so now since we're done with the first part of the tutorial, which is taking your footage and also creating your HDRI image using your Insta360 camera, stay tuned for the next part of the video where I'll be teaching you how to track your footage, how to import your tracking into the 3D software, and also how to add 3D elements into your scene using the Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i Copilot Plus PC, powered by Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, and new AI era begins.